I'm here to explain how capturing works, but since it's closely tied to the territory mechanic, I'll talk about that first. Now a player's territorial boundaries define the extent of his or her base. That means everything inside your lines practically belongs to you. You can build your storehouses and farmsteads nearer to the resources within it and place your defensive structures to further cement your borders. Anything outside your territory is beyond your control. It is important to note, however, that there are certain structures and factions designed to break this rule. For example, the dock can be built on shores regardless of whose territory it belongs to. The Morayans have worker elephants that serve as mobile drop sites as well as assistant builders. You can send workers to steal your enemy's resources using them. Whether that's effective or not is debatable, but at least it's viable, especially in games that have long ceasefire durations. The Romans also have their entrenched army camp that you can use to plan a surprise attack behind the enemy lines. That is provided that the enemy didn't see you build from there. Again, the Romans have the siege walls that give you the ability to wall off your enemy from his or her own resources and have a chance to emulate the Alesia style siege using the pre Julius Caesar Romans. There are three basic ways you can expand your borders. First is to take your civic center up to the next phase. Second is to build another civic center or in some factions a military colony. The third is by building structures at the edge of your borders and use that building's extended territorial influence to build upon. But be careful when using these options. Overextending could leave your buildings prone to attacks and be stolen by Gaia. It's only advisable to do this if you're trying to inch your way to a resource that's only slightly outside your boundaries. The Greek factions have a fourth option using the theater. You can build more than one and each increases the territory influence you currently have. The territory mechanic makes me see the map as a mini Badook or Go board. The more territory you control means the more resources you can efficiently gather, more space for your structures, and more freedom for your units to move around. So that's the basics of the territory mechanic. Now let's move on to capture. 